Okay, so finally we're at uh, the last type of build surface material that, you know, is fairly widely used. It's called PET tape. Um, the funny thing is about uh, PET tape and Kapton tape is they're both um, based on uh, polyester. So they're a polyester derived tape. And so they're kind of the same. That's why they kind of operate the same. Some people say Kapton works better and PET works harder. Uh, you know, some people say PET works better. Uh, to me, they're all about the same. I use ABS juice with them, uh, and so uh, uh, my, part of my problem is getting it to stick a little less aggressively. And so this 4-inch wide tape, this is the stuff that uh, is the hardest. You know, whether it's Kapton or PET, if you buy the 4-inch wide stuff, definitely get it a little bit thicker, because uh, if you don't get it thicker and it starts to tear, it's a nightmare. So... Anyway, so what we're going to do, same deal as before. We can be a little more aggressive on this stuff by peeling it a little bit more. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before. We kind of line it up a little bit. Make sure the short edge is side to side because you want as few stripes as possible down it. And then what we're going to do is uh, kind of line it up you know, as much as possible. This stuff, if you get it off then uh, it is a real pain to get it realigned. So you really got to start off right with it. Okay, and then the same deal as before with the cap done. You take your thumb and just kind of get it started right. Okay, but we don't want to keep, you know, some people can use their thumb back and forth and all that. Personally, I still like the debit card method. Um, and uh, you just go one, a little bit one way, a little bit the other way and you got to keep this stuff really kind of pulled in tension. If you don't, you'll get a lot more bubbles because you don't want it actually to hit the mirror or the glass plate until you are ready for it to seal a good seal. And so you just go back and forth a little bit. If you go too quick like this, you know, then what you're going to do is produce bubbles in it. And bubbles, you know, kind of create their own sort of problem too big of a bubble, if it's a small bubble, it's not a big deal, okay? But too big of a bubble, and you're going to have times where you're just fighting to keep your print down, and no one wants that. I don't want it for you. You don't want it for you. Believe me. So anyway, but uh, here we go. We're putting this down, and once we get to the end, we're going to stick this down on the table surface, give it an extra, you know, a couple centimeters or so. And uh, once it's stuck down there, you got a little bit of time to play back and forth. Little scratches, or what appear to be like little scratches from the card, that's not a big deal at all. Um, truthfully, it's just little smudge marks uh, left by the oil that's on here, or a little bit on there. You can use Windex, you know, same low cost Windex, to clean all that stuff off and polish it. Uh, what I do is uh, once I get this all down, I will use the Windex, you know, to put it down on there and clean it off really 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 good and then I'll actually apply ABS juice. I don't scuff it at all. Uh, some people use you know scotch Brite or sandpaper uh, to do it. I, I find the best approach is not to do anything with it. Um, leave it as absolutely clean as possible and here we're going to take it and you really have to kind of sight down it and so, once again, we don't want to overlap it, but we want as close as possible to it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try this. Take your thumb, move it back and forth to get the first, you know, centimeter or so done. And it looks like it's going to lay down pretty good. So, take our little debit card thing, and once again, we kind of walk it a little bit at a time. Now this time, I'm doing it fast enough that there is a little bubble in there. I mean, it's not really big, but it is a little bit, and I've kind of overlapped it a little bit. Uh, Capped on tape and PET tape aren't as bad as if you overlap it as if you do blue tape because it's thicker. Uh, but if you want to, you can actually peel this all the way back up. And then restart it. I can touch it now because I'm, I haven't actually Windexed it. Um, truth is, if you don't touch it all, you don't have to Windex it all because the stuff comes off the tape really good. You just can't actually touch the tape. 
uh, when you're rolling it so it's kind of difficult to do it that way anyway I'm going to go back and forth and I'm going to put a bubble in there just so I can show you here's how I fix it that's a little bit off so I'll do it again might have actually started off a little bit let me try and pull it slightly put it in tension and you know what you can peel it all the way back up if you want um, it just takes takes a little bit <laughs> I think I need to restart that Okay, so now we're going to take our thumb again and get this as good as we can. And we just go back and forth a little bit at a time until we get the whole thing down. And if you have a slight gap in there, that's okay. Just keep working on it. And what you want to do is you want to keep enough of an angle on this that you're actually putting it all in tension okay so you don't want it to stick there until you actually stick it on there so there you go now I got a couple bubbles in this because I was trying to work at it pretty quick just to get it done it's not a big deal and here's why almost everyone actually produces bubbles in these things uh, when they're doing it with a little bit of skill and a little bit of time you can get better at this stuff a uh, little practice what you do when you see a bubble that is formed there's like one there one here and a couple little minor ones you just take your razor and you slice it or you pin prick it like if it's a small one and you just gotta put a little bit of pressure to it this side really didn't have any it has like maybe one or two honestly I wouldn't even care about that and then what you want to do is if you slice it you want to go lengthwise down the slice and it disappears it'll still leave a little bit of weird tape residue kind of marking that shows that there was a bubble at one time but it actually won't show up on any of your prints so it's kind of weird that way anyway there we go that's a four inch PET tape applied then what we'll do is we'll take a razor blade and go across it and on this I actually leave a little bit left over the edge all the time because I use it as a wipe function um, you know for the 3d printer on the back and there you go so uh, the tape will actually peel up pretty good so there's your four types of plates that you'll use PET tape which is very similar to Kapton tape which is yellow in appearance both of those are used for ABS um, once in a while I'll hear of someone that uses Kapton tape uh, with uh, 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 PLA but uh, that's very few and far between I think um, more times than not they will use blue tape is what they call this even though it's like a 3M product uh, if you get the good stuff um, PLA sticks really good to this stuff uh, the bad news is that um, it goes bad after a while much quicker than like PET tape or so and that if you squeeze it you have to actually really apply a lot more pressure for big parts um, otherwise it's going to start curling um, that's the one of the great things about uh, heated build plates is that it doesn't actually curl the first uh, layers so easily if you get it done right then it, it does really well now what I'm going to talk about now is um, what I called and referred to before as ABS juice. Here's two different kinds. Both are acetone. If you look at the, it, on the bottom of this one, this one's actually natural ABS, you'll see a little bit of precipitate. It actually shows up a little bit better on the black. All you do is you kind of like just shake it around and it turns back pretty good. And what you do is after you get that, you take piece of paper towel fold it over usually I do it like a couple times and you open it up just long enough to put it on there good thing about acetone is it's not really that poisonous um, 
and you just wipe it back and forth. And I wipe such a light concentration of this that all it does is it barely hazes it. And so we'll put a little bit on there. This is the same stuff that they use as fingernail polish remover. And what I do is I will keep going back and forth until I see the light hazing. And the truth is, at the angle that the camera is, you can't hardly even see the hazing. And then uh, you can just throw this away. Uh, one thing about acetone, it is flammable. Uh, so, you know, don't smoke near it. But uh, um, anyway, make sure you put your cap on very, very tight. And uh, it'll stay for years. So anyway, there you go. That's your four build plates.